Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Elden Ring walkthrough. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we are going to be making our way through Deep Root Depths. But before we do, like always, let's talk about everything I did off screen and really only did one thing and that was farm up a bit more ruins so that way we can put four more levels into our character and make it around 150. Let's go ahead and level up. We're gonna put one point into vigor, one point into endurance, strength, and dex. Before we leave the round table hold, let's go ahead and check on Rogier. Or Rogier. He has died. We get his bell bearing along with his attire. And we also get Rogier's letter. This letter, I mean, is important. If you want to read it, you can. All it does is tells us that D had a brother which we know we found him and where we can kind of find the the uh, deep root depths. So I'm not going to bother reading that. If you want to read it, feel free. For now, let's go to our map. We're going to zoom out and then we're going to come over here to the Great Waterfall Basin. I'll see everybody over there. Go ahead and go over to this coffin that we didn't go in after beating the gargoyles. This is going to bring us to the deep root depths. going to go ahead and light this grace and then we're going to come over here and activate this summoning pool we're going to go ahead and buff our weapon along with drink our wondrous flask of physic because we're going to be fighting an erd tree avatar Pretty easy, we fought him before. So for killing the Erd Tree Avatar, we get the Staff of the Avatar. Now up here is a Silver Scarab, but we are not going to run up there and grab it. 
We actually have a couple of ants that are guarding it. And it's those big-headed ants. The ones that are the bane of my existence. If we can ever hit it. There we go. What are you doing, bud? Come on. Jump in the air. Dodge it. We have one more right over here. Let's see if he'll jump in the air as well. hate these ants. So annoying. Come over here and we'll grab ourselves a ghost glove wart 4 and then we can go ahead and grab this silver scarab now. A scarab is going to give us the Ash of War Golden Land. Essentially, you can put that on a heavy weapon, slam it into the ground, and it will shoot out projectiles, kind of like the Erdtree avatars do. Exactly like the Erdtree avatars do. So if that seems cool to you, put it on. Right here, we're going to go up this route. Maybe. And then we're going to come over here. And hop off torrent to get ourselves an item now if we turn around we can see this other big root system we're gonna run down it until we get to this area right here and we want to drop down onto this root this is gonna bring us into a cave full of ants we're only going to kill the first set of ants. After that, we're just going to run straight through this cave. We're only coming over here for one thing, and that is a spell. Of course, I just healed myself, and, and I got hit by an ant. It's all right, we should get some flasks back. Yep, we did. So for killing the queen ants, we're gonna get some Newman runes and we're gonna get a rune arc. What I like to do is kill off the queen ants first. It's gonna cause all the other ants to drop down. And we're just going to get all these notifications off here. Now, we can ride Torn in here. And we see that there's an item here. So we're going to hop on Torn. We're going to run, grab that item, and then book it out of this cave. Just don't stop. There are a ton of ants in here. More are going to fall down. And then right here at the end, this is the spell that we want to get. It's called Elden Stars. Pretty cool, actually. It's an incantation. And what it does is shoots out a bunch of stars at your enemies. So if you are a faith build, try it out. Grab some holy grease here. And then we're going to run straight up here, grab this item at the top. Hop off here, head south over here to these roots. Hop off just here. And then we're going to get off Torrent. Ledges to me are always a little sketchy, especially when you're riding Torrent. And 
And then if we come over here, we're going to have some ants. We're going to grab these items real quick. Just keep moving. We're going to head west and then follow the pathway to northwest. And we should run straight into a grace. Light that grace and then we're going to immediately sit at it because there are ants chasing us. Let's go ahead and talk to the finger reader. Oh, oh Lord Godwin. Such cruelty. Such humiliation. Oh, my poor sweet lordling should have died a true death. As the first of the demigods to die. As a martyr to destined death. But why must it yet bring such disgrace? A scion of the Golden Bow. Sentenced to live in death. How could such a thing come to be? <laughs> Let's come over here. We're going to light this. Not light this. I'm sorry. We're going to activate this summoning pool. Also, just a heads up. This is probably going to be a longer video. There's a lot to do down here. Let's go ahead and follow this root system. There's an item we're going to grab really fast. Be very careful. There's a gargoyle spitting flames at us. We don't want to get caught up with that. So facing east or southeast, there's a bunch of basilisks over here. So make sure that you have your beast repellent torch out. Unless you want to kill all these basilisks, I'm not too worried about them. Go ahead and grab ourselves some smithing stones and a rune arc. And then right here, we can hop on Torrent and get ourselves the map of Deep Root Depths. We have another gargoyle that's going to spit fire at us. What I like to do is come to the right and then jump off to the left. And that normally trips them up, at least the AI. We get the Ash of War Vacuum Slice. Never used it. Seems a little meh to me, but maybe it's pretty good. We're going to come out here, come over this way, and grab this Silver Scarab. Maybe. There we go. some somber smithing stone six grab a ghost glove wart five and then we're going to make our way northeast till we hit the cliff's edge here and just follow this around right here is a spirit spring i'm going to use that to get to the top get ourselves some arteria leaf and then we're going to inch our way off and carefully fall. That way we don't take damage or die. Get a smithing stone seven. And then we're going to hop over. And back over here towards the spirit spring. Make sure that you land on the spirit spring or else you're going to die from fall damage. And that's not fun at all. So we're going to go through this wooded area. Just wanted to go a little slower there for everybody just so they knew where we were going. Gets a little dense. Grab ourselves a smithing stone five. And then right over here, we have another grace that we can go ahead and light. Along with a summoning pool that we can activate. And then we're going to head west and loot a couple of coffins. There's actually a coffin over here. If you get in it, it will send you to the Ainsel River Main. 
but we've already been over there, so we're not going to get in that. I'll show you the coffin in just a second. So right here is the coffin that I was talking about. If for any chance you need to go over there, and just hop in that coffin and it'll bring you right where we ended up when we went from Ronnie's Rise. Now we want to head down this embankment and we're going to follow the cliffside heading east or northeast. And then once we get about right here, we're going to hop up here and there is a rune bear. We're not going to fight this rune bear. We're just going to grab the items and then get out of here. So just grab the items and get out unless you're really wanting to fight that rune bear. Me on the other hand, I am not. And then just keep following the cliffside. Be really careful up where this broken tower is. There is an archer. And if he hits you, he will knock you back. He is using a great bow. We're actually going to come up by him. We're not even going to bother messing with him. We're just grabbing the somber smithing stone and then we're getting out of there. Grab this item here. And then we're going to come up towards the top here. Be really careful. We got another great bow user. I like to try to juke him if I can. It's not always possible. And then we're just going to veer off here. Grab this item. Drop down. And then right in here, we have another item to grab. I know it seems like I go, I'm going fast, and I definitely am. So hopefully I'm not going too fast for everybody. Oh, I went the wrong way. There is an opening on the other side. That's what I was looking for. So don't go that way. Go this way. Come in here. Be very careful because we do have some enemies in here, and they do hurt. I mean, all enemies hurt, but that guy with the sword that was glowing, he doubly hurts. We're going to use the spirit spring, get on top of this tower, grab ourselves a stone sword key, and then we're going to hop down, and we're going to hop back up. Be really careful. It's so easy to hop off that ledge right there. We're not going to use our Wondrous Flask of Physic, but we are going to summon in our Mimic Tier. We're just fighting a Crucible Knight. They're not hard. We fought plenty of them. So for killing the Crucible Knight, Celeria, we're going to get its weapon. Let's come up over here, grab this chest. And right here is my favorite armor in the entire game. We will be putting that on in the next video. For now, we're going to stay with the Banished Knight stuff. Real quick, before we go up there, we're going to come down. Well, let's grab the uh, Silver Scarab first. Maybe. Be really careful. Lots and lots of archers. Come back down here. Grab Ghost Glove Wart 6. And then right over here, 
This is the sketchiest of them all because you have guys shooting at you. So if you don't feel comfortable getting this one, don't get it. It's just a Rune 8. Ooh. He wasn't messing around. Over here, we're going to come over here on this route. Grab this item right here. Kind of just hop around the best you can. And then right over here we have another great bow knight. We want to be very careful. Grab this item and then jump off and keep moving. That is very difficult if you don't feel comfortable doing that. I totally understand that one. That one is, whew, it's scary. Ooh, did I die? Oh my goodness, I thought I died. Whew. That's what's difficult about that part is there's Basilisk, there's the Mausoleum Knights, just everything all on these roots. And it's so easy to fall off. We're going to come back over here. It's trying to go up this root system. We're going to jump off onto the Wandering Mausoleum. And we know what to do for Wandering Mausoleums. Nothing's changed with that. Let's go ahead and take out all these skulls. Okay, it's coming down. So we're going to face this way against the wall. Wait for it to go all the way down. And then we can hop off Torrent. Open this up. If you want to duplicate a boss remembrance, this is a perfect spot. We're just going to mark this. Oops, wrong button. Come down here. Now, if you're having trouble with the Mausoleum Knights, take down the Wandering Mausoleum first and you'll have a lot less of them wandering around. So do keep that in mind. Now we're just gonna head south, back up this embankment from where we went down earlier, where the Grace is. The Grace is just over here. What we're gonna do is head southeast and hop on top of these buildings. We're gonna have some gargoyles to deal with. But the great thing about these gargoyles is when you kill them, you will get some flasks back. Now here, what you wanna do is grab this item and then start booking it. Because if you slow down at all, you're gonna be hit by their fire and that is not gonna be fun. We're going to take this one out that's on the sledge. We're going to hop back on this root system and then come over to this tower. Get the Prince of Death staff. If you're using any kind of death spells, that will boost it. That staff will. Let's hop back on Torrent. And then we're going to take the root system to the left, hop up, and then once again, start booking it across this root system. Grab the item if you can. If not, it's okay. And then we're going to hop to the left on this root system and then get behind this gargoyle. You're going to want to take this one out for sure. The other two, you really don't have to take out if you don't want to because we're not going to go buy them again. Right here, we're going to hop down just over here. It's going to make us get off torrent. That's okay. 
be able to get back on Torin in just a moment after we light this grace and activate the summoning pool. Okay, over here, we have two more gargoyles. At least I think they're gargoyles. I, I don't know really what to call them other than that. They look like gargoyles. Now we have all our flasks back. I'm gonna hop up here, take out this last gargoyle, and then hop on Torrent. And this root system that we see just in front of us, hop on it. We can get the item that we missed earlier, Golden Rune 8. And then right here, we want to hop down onto this root. Over here is a hole that we're going to be hopping down in just a second. About right here is where we're going to be hopping down. But first, I like to come back here where there's a couple of ants and grab me a Ghost Glove Wart. It's only a Ghost Glove Wart 7, so if you're not that worried about them, I would just skip it. But I mean, you can pretty easily outrun the ants. So right here we're going to hop down. As long as you see this ledge, you can hop down to it. And then right here, we're going to follow this ledge, hop down to the root. Keep going down. Grab some Formic Rock if you want. Now, here's where we're going to buff our weapon, put on our Wondrous Flask of Physic, and then we're going to kill this rune bear. Ooh. Uh oh. Not good. Not good. He keeps grabbing me. It's bad. Heal ourselves. Can we kill him before he kills us? All right. Awesome. Let me grab that item. Okay, so for killing the Rune Bear, we get the Prince of Death Cyst. And really, all that does is boost your vitality. So if you're wanting more vitality, go ahead and put that on. Let's go ahead and go to the Grace across the roots. We're going to come through this little archway. And start running towards this very gross and creepy looking creature which is actually Godwin I don't even know how to make sense of this creature where its head's at and I, I don't know <laughs> it looks weird we're actually going to be in a kind of sort of boss fight we're going to be fighting Fia's champions they're really not hard I, I hate to even call this a boss fight. As you can tell, I completely annihilated that guy with two hits. And then right here, we're going to see our good friend, Rajier. Poor Rajier. Summoning our guy. Our Mimic Tear is not our guy. Super easy. So if we're killing her champions, we get Fia's Mist, which will cause death buildup whenever you use it. 
Let's go ahead and light this grace real fast, and then we're going to talk to Fia. Ah, there you are. I knew you would come. What is it you intend? To deny us and our ways, like the dogmatic brutes of the Golden Order. You want to say no I want to be held. You are an odd one. I am the guardian of those who live in death. They call me a foul and rotten witch. Yet you still wish to be held by me? We're going to talk to her four different times. Have you ever seen a hollow brand? When the first of the demigods died, his flesh was marked with the half-wheel wound of the centipede. Godwin's hollow brand has since been recovered at the round table hold. But there is another hollow brand out there somewhere, and I must find it before the time comes we receive our lord. When Godwin died, a hollow brand scored his flesh, but another exists. Another mark in the shape of the half-wheel wound of the centipede, and I must find it. Before the time comes we receive our lord. My hands will be dirtied once more by the deed. Will you still let me hold you, even then? This is the other hollow brand. How did you... Oh, my utmost thanks. With this, Godwin can take his rightful place as first of the dead and claim a second, illustrious life. You are my, our, true champion. And though I can't be of any use to you, can I hold you tight? If only for a moment. I will soon lay with Godwin, and it will surely stir within me. The new life of the Golden Prince, and first dead of the demigods, as the ruin of those who live in death. Please, do one thing for me. Brandish this child, my rune, and take for yourself the throne. Stay the persecution of those who live in death by becoming... Our Elden Lord. We're going to use the blessings that she gave us. And then we're going to sit at the grace and talk to her again. Let's go ahead and use those blessings. This way it doesn't kick us out of the inventory you just hit r3 and then you can hit it again let's sit at the grace and then we're going to talk to her once more This is goodbye, my dear, but I am satisfied. I choose to lie with Godwin of my own will, not the remains of one chosen for me, and I will bear a child who will inherit your warmth too. What greater blessing could there be but to be born a deathbed companion? Okay, we're going to use the blessing one more time so that we don't have the health debuff. 
will sit at the grace again, and this time she's going to be sleeping. We're going to enter the deathbed dream. Go ahead and summon in our Mimic tier. Be really careful. Lich Dragon Fortisax is not hard. A different, a few different moves that I can use. Overall, it's still a dragon. And it is down. So, not too hard. For killing Lich Dragon Fortisax, we get the Remembrance of the Lich Dragon. All right, we want to run over here to Fia. We want to grab the Mending Rune of the Death Prince. Let's rest at the grace again. Ha! Prince of Death, take a good long look. See the wrath of the Golden Order, the Order's justice writ in blood. This is what's become of your precious witch. Naught but expired meat and bone. This is a proper death, O oh Prince. Look at this rotten whore. No more children can be got from this useless flesh. Behold, your mother is dead. <laughs> This is revenge, you witch. And you, you ghoul. This is the wrath of D. Let's go ahead and grab Fia's hood and then Fia's robe. And we'll talk to D's brother. Ah, hello. The rotten witch is dead. The Golden Order unsullied. Now I can look my brother Darian in the eye. Honeyed rays of gold, deliver my spirit. We're going to rest at the grace one more time. And now, Dee's brother is dead. We get the inseparable sword along with D's armor. Cool stuff. And Fia, unfortunately, is dead as well. Let's go ahead and go back to the round table hold. I'll see everybody there. Alrighty, everyone. This is where we're going to end the video. I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. It really does mean a lot to me. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody. Have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.